What's going on, everybody? I'm your host, Jonathan Thames of Rosie and Ernie Productions, and welcome back to another episode of Jonathan's Jam Sessions, where I hope to give you guys kind of an inside look of how the creative process unfolds, for me at least, as a musician, um, in the hopes that it will help to inspire further the development of other creative processes. Um, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump in. And I guess what I'm trying to get out right there is that you don't necessarily have to have an idea in mind. Just go for it and see what comes out. It doesn't have to be right, so to speak. Um, you just start somewhere and see if you can build on that. I've always been more of a feeling uh, player, you know. I learned songs and I learned a lot by ear and by watching people and by reading uh, music and tablature. I cannot sight translate music well at all, which is another skill that I lack that a lot of people out there do. Um, so you don't have to be necessarily super classically trained to get along in the music world. I don't want anybody out there to feel like they should be discouraged if those are things that they lack or if there's something that they're like, well, man, I'm just not ready to to start writing music or I'm not ready to start playing an instrument, well, just give it a shot. The whole thing is to encourage you to just keep learning and to keep trying. Um, and remember that nothing is perfect. It's all music. It's all just, we're, it's all just here to have fun and express yourself. So. I don't really know where to go with, with uh, anything from there, or even if that second part, which I literally just made up probably about 10 minutes ago, I don't know if that works or not. So whenever I go back and watch it, I'll listen to it a few times, see if I like it. If I don't, I'll figure something else out. There's a couple of ideas that I can't have come up with over the past few days. Let me see if I can hack my way through one of them that I, I remember. Thank God I had my phone to capture the ideas. That's the other thing. No matter what your method is for songwriting, I don't care if it's, oh, I've got an idea up here, I'm going to translate it to my instrument, or, hey, I've just jammed out this really cool part. Don't ever assume, oh man, yeah, I'm going to remember it, and by the time I sit down to the recorder, you know, it'll be great. Uh, there have been many times where I have thought that, and then by the time I get to the recorder, I've completely lost the entire structure. So you don't want that to happen. It's a major bummer whenever that does happen. So always have your phone handy or something that you can record with because capturing those ideas, it's just, it's priceless. So.
actually kind of surprised that I didn't have to hack more. <laughs> um, I was actually able to remember that, you know, fairly simply, but that's, that's kind of a complicated part. I'm glad I had my phone to record that. I don't know what to do with that from there, though, so... think you know any of that really works but hang on Let's go ahead and move on uh, for now. So, um, actually, another part that I came up with that I like is a. Uh Again, don't know where to go with that from there. If I should jump into like a chord progression, uh, if I should go kind of into an upscaled arpeggiotic movement, um, I don't really know. I feel like I've tried the upscaled arpeggiotic movement and it seems a little too on the nose. Those who know me know that I'm a big fan of King Crimson and so I have a tendency to write... Uh, right in arpeggios and even before i discovered king crimson i was always kind of a fan of that style uh but as much as i like to to pay homage to them i definitely do not like to try to uh approach the steps of ripping them off in any sort of way so i'm, I'm really careful to tread those waters or at least i try to be because another example of that is another idea that i've come up with where it's an arpeggiotic movement and again i don't really feel like it sounds like king crimson or at least i hope not um, to an extent that it, I hope it doesn't sound like, oh my gosh, this guy's just trying to be Robert Fripp. So anyways, check it out and tell me if you guys have any ideas that you guys would like to share with me or like send links to your videos or whatever. I would love you guys to jam along with whatever it is that I've got going on. If you guys have ideas, uh, please share them. Uh, this is definitely meant to be an experimental and hopefully inclusive and engaging experience for you guys. So... <laughs>
and that was not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. There was plenty of mistakes in there, but uh, that was kind of just a little jam ditty that I came up with. And uh, again, you know, I'm hoping to build on that in the future um, and hopefully collaborate with somebody on, on these things. Like I said, that, that would just be a lot of fun. All right, so let's see. There's actually a song the last time that uh, I was fortunate enough to get together with a mutual friend of my father and uh, I. His name was Peter, and he passed away in 2020. He had a heart attack, and one of the last times that I was able to get together with him, we actually had started working on a piece, um, and I'm hoping that maybe I, that, that we can finish it in his honor. So, Pete... This one's for you, man. particularly to find myself committed to that ending so <laughs> anyways like I said I just I want to continue messing around with it I'm hoping that eventually we can turn it into a really awesome song for uh, for Peter all right so that wraps up today's jam session I hope everybody enjoyed it I know that I had a great time and I hope that you guys will continue to join me as we continue this journey uh, to build our creative process and I want to end by asking you guys, uh, if there are any musicians out there that are watching, what's your creative process? And what information could you share with me and with other people that could help us build upon our current creative process? Uh, please tell us what works for you or share a video. Um, anything is definitely helpful. And again, if you want to take any of these ideas that I've presented today and run with them and then come back and present them, please do. I'm more than open to see what you can do with them. In fact, I encourage it. Let's all pick up our instruments and let's create something out of nothing. 
All right, guys. You guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.